Well, I guess that's another thing to cross off the list of the things that the Looney Tunes had done. This is Ravnir's Blah Animation Bliss and welcome to another Spotlight Cartoon Corner. So today's Spotlight Cartoon we talk about today is the 1996 animated live action hybrid movie Space Jam. And before I get into my thoughts about this movie, here are a few words from the channel. Alright Animaniacs, now let's get on the social media train. Want to chat with us in 100 words or less? Then check out our Twitter account. Want to chat with us within a group? Then check out our Facebook account. Want to get the lowdown on everything dealing with animation on this channel? Then check all of the above. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled program. So the movie starts off with a bunch of aliens trying to find a new attraction for their theme park. And they suddenly stumble upon some footage of the Looney Tune characters. And when they saw the Looney Tune characters doing their usual antics, they got excited at the prospect and decided to kidnap the Looney Tunes and bring them to Mora Mountain. Once the aliens from Moron Mountain came to Earth, they tried to kidnap the Looney Tunes, but the Looney Tunes characters are like, you know, you can't kidnap us unless you play a basketball game with us and whoever wins will get what they want. And so the Looney Tunes characters try to find Michael Jordan, who at this point had just retired from baseball and is planning to go back to basketball. And so the Looney Tunes end up recruiting Michael Jordan so they could play in the big basketball playoffs against the Monstars. So what are my thoughts about this movie? I really enjoyed this movie when I was growing up. Like I've been a huge Looney Tunes fan ever since I was little. And when I heard about this movie that has the Looney Tunes characters teaming up with Michael Jordan, of course I was really excited about this because at the time I was a huge fan of Michael Jordan's basketball career. And so I was wondering what a film with Michael Jordan interacting with the Looney Tunes would be like. And we got this movie and it ended up being a really good film that has a good mixture of basketball and the Looney Tunes characters playing basketball at the same time and I thought that was a really interesting concept for this film. I really like the animation for the Looney Tune characters themselves like the animation for the characters are so fluid. I especially love it when they did the usual antiques like running around the screen and going crazy and it's animated so well and I also like the fact that this film has a good blend between live action and animation. It blends so well and it was great seeing Michael Jordan interact with these Looney Tune characters and I love how the film was able to incorporate that and make it into something very creative for this movie. I also love the plot of this movie as it's about the Looney Tunes trying to win their freedom back from the Monstars or at least try to prevent themselves from being imprisoned by the Monstars and so they get engaged in this basketball game and the reason why they asked Michael Jordan to join them was because he was a good basketball player and they wanted to use Michael for this game to help them win this game against the Monstars so I thought it was a really great way to get Michael Jordan into this film without making it seem like he's just a glorified cameo appearance he actually has something to do with the plot and I think it shows very well in this film and then it was just a great joy to see the Looney Tune characters again after all of these years actually seeing them in their first big theatrical movie and I enjoyed how the Looney Tune characters were being betrayed like they were being betrayed as the true selves to the original source material so I like the fact that they didn't change much from the original source material and yet are able to lend themselves well to this type of story and I did like the introduction of Lola Bunny. I like the fact that we have a strong female protagonist in this film who's able to play basketball very well and is able to help out with the Looney Tunes. Now, if there was an issue that I have with this movie, it was that I felt like the movie focused too much on Michael Jordan and not enough on the Looney Tunes. I mean, sure, the Looney Tune characters do get a lot of moments in this film, but this film is mostly about Michael Jordan and his story, and we barely get any story arcs revolving around the Looney Tunes except for their predicament with the alien and how they might run the risk of actually being imprisoned by the aliens if they don't try to win the basketball game. But I would have liked to see more from the Looney Tunes in this movie and maybe see less of Michael Jordan, even though I will admit that I like the fact that we get to know more about Michael Jordan as a character in this movie and he's not just there as a glorified cameo. He actually has a purpose in the plot, so I do like that about Michael Jordan's character in this film. And another issue that I have with this film was how they portray Lola Bunny. Even though I love the fact that she's a really good basketball player, I felt like she's just there as sex appeal and she's just there as Bugs Bunny's love interest for the most part. And I wish they expanded more on her character than just being good at basketball and just being eye candy. Like I wish they gave her a little more characterization in this film. But I do like the fact that she is a strong female character who can play basketball. I just wish that there was more to her character than just that. 
and just being eye candy for the audience. So overall, I really enjoy watching Space Jam. It's a favorite childhood movie of mine. Even though the film focused a little too much on Michael Jordan, and I wish that they characterized Lola Bunny a little better in this film instead of just being eye candy and just being a good basketball player. I did enjoy this film for having a good blend between live action and animation, and I love the way that they portray Looney Tune characters in this film. And it's definitely a film I would love to watch over and over again whenever I get the chance to. Well, that's my review on Space Jam, and tell me in the comments down below, have you seen Space Jam? And if you have, did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? And what was your favorite movie that starred the Looney Tune characters? Please feel free to tell me in the comments down below. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Rabbit's Wild Animation Bliss, and I'll see you guys later.